Let's. I'm, I'm just gonna check and see whether I can see what that meow is. Um. These are my current recommendations. So it's fairy. Well, that makes sense. Yep, steel. Okay. These, I haven't caught. Oh no, I have. Oh, I suppose I have caught this one. Or should its face regularly keep the coordinates wide spot? This doesn't get along with. Oh, it doesn't get along with Galarian Meowth. Interesting. What if it gets along with a Lolan Meowth? Is that one? These dar daring Pokemon have coins on their foreheads. Darker coins are harder and harder. Oh, darker coins are harder and harder coins garner more respect to our Meowth. Okay, so it's steel because of the coin on its head. And it's, yeah, real regular mouth should be normal steel. And then it should evolve into a normal type because it loses the coin on its head. But does Persian lose the to have a coin? I don't think it does. Interesting. Interesting. Right. Uh, oh, he's gonna I was gonna switch my team up. Um Don't really know what I wanna do though. They're all level 18. They all seem to be leveling up quite nicely just by leaving um, my monkey in charge. Oh, pin missile. That's a bug move. Uh, can even learn that because I quite like pin missile. I have a history with pin missile. No, okay. I have a history with pin missile because back in the original Pokemon game, um. The only things that were effective against Mewtwo were bug and ghost attacks. And there were no ghost attacks in the game that did... Like, the only ghost attack in the game was, like, I think, Nightshade? Which did damage based on, um... The amount of HP you had. Uh, oh, no, but it did damage based on level. That's what it was. Um, so it wasn't super effective against psychic types, and then the other ghost type was, uh, was like Lick or something like that. It, 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 you could, yes, yeah, so there were no ghost, and the only ghost Pokemon in the game were Poison, and so they were also weak against. I think I've told this story before, but whatever. They were, they were weak against psychic, so I, you could, Gengar was useless as a counter for Mewtwo. So I was like, okay, well, Bug types are good against psychic as well. So what Bug Poke moves are there? And the only decent bug move was Pin Missile. And so I trained a Beedrill up to level 100. Oh, I didn't see which Pokemon that was. I will switch, though. Uh, blind is a safe bet. I uh, trained up a Beedrill to level 100 for Pin Missile to use against Mewtwo. And yeah, it's super effective. But it's also... You know, it's a Beedrill. It's rubbish. And... Um, Obviously, Jolteon also learned to pin missile, and would have been much better. Would have just been an all-around much better choice to have used against a counter against Beauty because it's faster. It's actually a decent Pokemon. It's, you know, it's two strong points right off the bat. And I killed Reese. He's downhearted. Sorry. Give me your money, child. I needed to buy fancy T-shirts. I'm going to take a kip and rest comfortably inside a Pokeball. You do that. Ha-ha! But Galarian... Galarian and Malfo are, like, a properly vicious. Oh, there's a shiny there. Yeah, I can sell that. Oh! And I ran into a Wooloo! I'm curious if Wooloo... I mean, yeah, I'm just curious. I wonder whether Wooloo evolves into anything. I think I'm pretty much done on this route now. I look like everything I needed to do. So... Oh, this is just going to make itself more... more defensible. I don't know why, I didn't mean to use Swift, I was going to use Crazy Leaf. Whatever. Killed it. That's the important thing. Uh, I would like to get Gyarados up to... Uh, I should use his real name, shouldn't I? 
Um, I don't know who this is. Uh, so I'll just do a normal voice. Where do you think you're going? Bear. Ow, really crashed into you and stopped. Oh, it's the gym leader. I need, hang on, I need to, I, 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 he's a farmer, so I'm, I need to do a West Country accent. I feel like that's the, uh, my, are you okay? You look, you took that tackle head on. Hmm? Oh, you must be one of those gym challenges, right? Yes, indeed. Ah, I, th arr, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. Or possibly Milo. I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good that champion endorsed gym challenges are. Arr. Let me find out with the gym station. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you, too. We can't keep the gym challengers waiting. So you're a grass type, but you've got a Wulu. He's Wulu's not grass. Should I? Should someone tell him? Curious. Right, let's go and heal. Oh god, damn you! Damn you! <laughs> I've quit. Oh, he's gonna talk to me. Why have I done? Why have I put this rod in my back? Oh, hang on. This is turf field. Oh, that's some smooth town music. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this over with. Look, just take a look at that, Jack lad. That's turf field stadium down there. The gym leader just returned too! Milo, or possibly Milo's his name. But the place is jam-packed with challengers. It'll be ages before our turn comes up. Oh, but Sonia was looking for you, Jack lad. She wouldn't ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. He's on that what's-her-face hill. You know the one. What, you don't know the hill? Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. Bow wow. yippee ya, yippee yo. Oh, this is Sonya's Yamper. He's a good boy. He'll show you the way. Cool. I need a heal. <laughs> so, no. Bye, Yamper. Loser. Customary start back in. Right. Let's go and we'll explore the town before going and fighting the Pokemon Trail. We'll just leave the town entirely. Let's just go. Oh, in fact, I needed to go to a hill or something, didn't I? That was what I needed to do. Oh, sorry, but Team Yell caused quite the kerfuffle. And now the bridge is in a bit of a state. That's the thing cleaned up as quick as we can, but can you give us some time? I mean, the bridge looks fine, but okay. Just coming up with excuses not being able to leave town until I've, until I've done what I needed to do. I think it would have been cool, to, given that they've, okay, given that they've um, created the wild in this game, which is this big open world area that you keep coming back to. If they would have led it so that you could have done the gyms in any order, and it's just they would have gotten more powerful, depending on the order you did them in. So that way, if you did choose, depending on which starter you chose, you could go, oh, okay, well I'll choose the gym that's. You know, my team is strong against now, and then... Uh, I bet that does damage to your Pokémon in doubles battles. So I should teach it to something. Uh, still nothing to learn. Oh, so Blinder can use Brutal Swing. So he's moving his body around violently to inflict damage on everything in the vicinity. Power 60. How does that compare to Bite? Uh, 60. No, I think with Bite then. It's the same power, and Bite causes. Uh, I mean, it'd be useful in the doubles battle, I suppose, to hit both of them. But I don't know. That, I don't know that they're. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. 
I don't know that there are that many doubles battles in this game, so I shan't worry about it. Oh, another stone. Cool. I want to hold this for a tick. Ah, peculiar stone is prevented from evolving. Yes. Good for when I get a ditto. Uh, although apparently I don't need to actually, because I think the whole point of Everstone was for natures, and now natures aren't really a problem anymore. Um, if you don't take proper care of your equipment, it can fail when you really need it. Okay. Okay. Oh. What? You don't know the hill? Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. Oh, I already talked to you then, did I? I forgot why, uh, if I talked to you or not before. Oh yeah, I do remember. You told me I needed to go to the hill and I ran into the Pokemon Center. Giddy. Giddy and screaming. I do most things. Milo does... Milo, or Milo, does more than just work the fields. He raises beautiful flowers, too. If you hold flowers, Pokemon will gather around you. Is that true? That sounds like being a florist is an incredibly dangerous occupation, then. And good, I can sell that. Are you just like, I'm just, I'm just going and collect these flowers from the flowery. Where do, flower, where do florists grow their flowers? Fields? There must be like an official name for a place where a florist grow, grows flowers. Bawak. yippee ya, yippee yo. Uh, that geoglyph, I heard nobody knows its name. Okay. Nothing of the town of Turfield. Renowned since the days of yore for the stunning and historical geoglyph upon our hill. Fair enough. What's you? I took a photo of the geoglyph, but it just doesn't compare to seeing it yourself. Okay. Bow wow wow! Well. Yippee yay, yippee yay. I am gonna keep doing that. Before you if you're if you're wondering though. Is he going to keep doing that every time Every time the Yampa says bow wow wow? And I'm going to be like, yes. Yes, I am. Ooh. Such mysterious stone structures. Were they made by people or by Pokemon? Um, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I can't even think of a joke. Hey, I've got a leaf stone. Peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It has an unmistakable leaf pattern. Now. There we go. Well, because I don't know what evolves with what, especially with regards to the new Pokemon. I do just have to check sometimes when I pick up stones. Um, like, I'm pretty sure had poor Pear Shape not died horribly, um... I would have needed a stone to get it to stage three. Whether it was a leaf stone or a water stone, I don't remember. It was one of the two, though. Thanks, Yamper. Bow, wow, wow. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I resisted. But that is now Yamper's tone of voice. I thought you had come because I wanted to hear what you thought. Oh, I had you come. I didn't even read that properly. Whatever. So, that geoglyph. What do you think of it? Dynamax? Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be a coincidence. Well, we've got a statue of the hero who slew giant Pokemon, so yeah, it makes sense. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. A giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was that black storm they called the Darkest Day? I mean, there's a massive storm raging whenever you do Dynamax fights. Maybe that, just that, that thing. What connection does it have to Dynamax? Guess I'm lucky. I guess I'm the lucky lady who'll be looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a lead card. Is it yours? Oh, it's Milo and or Milo's. Milo and or Milo's a grass type gym leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire, flying, or bug-type moves. Well, I have two of those, so that's good. Take these two. It'd be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. Yay, thanks. I can sell those. <laughs> no, no. It's to bring your Pokemon back to life. No, no. 
No, no, no. I'm not some sort of Frankenstein. Okay, that's not how this works, Sonya. They, you know, when a Pokemon dies, a Pokemon dies. Okay, don't go perverting nature, you scientist. Go on then, get yourself to Turfield Stadium and bow yourself silly. Bow walk. How can a Geoglyph one ages ago last for so long without eroding away? If I think about it too much, I won't be able to sleep. I mean, isn't it just chalk? Um, I'm trying to remember because obviously this is based on the giant drawing in the UK somewhere. I should know this. Um, uh, the thing is, we've got giant horse drawings in uh, where I live. Um, and they're made with chalk, so I assume it's the same thing. Either way, I sat on a bench, didn't mean to do that. You know what I think? I think the Jigglypuff was created with the help of Pokemon. I mean, it's flat. I don't think you would have needed a Pokemon. And also, we, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. And a bottle of fresh water. Oh yeah, what are these things? Are they drinking fountains? I guess they must be. Are they drinking fountains for like humans and Pokemon? I want to stick my head in the photo stand when I grow taller. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I'm a squirrel. Is this, hang on, is this thing a Pokemon? Oh, I'm not tall enough to get into the other one. I can get in this one though. Hang on, and then... Oh, can I... This is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Let's get the surprise and then... Okay, that didn't... That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but it, I'll take it. Is this one a Pokemon, though? Interesting. It's, yeah, I mean, if there's a Pokemon that looks like that, then I'd say it's definitely a Pokemon that made these. It's, it'll be, it's put, you literally just see its dead legs. These are just Pokemon corpses lining the landscape. It's like, yeah, rock Pokemon, when they die, they just kind of sit there. And, you know, you just go... Sometimes, you know, you, what you look at and think, Oh, well... Look at that pile of rocks. What that actually is, that's a dead onyx. It's just a pile, piles and piles of dead onyxes. And you just think, ah, oh, some rocks. Um, that's what happens. They don't talk about that stuff, really. But, you know, it must be. Uh, yes. Uh, I picked up five revives at some point as well. See? Raking in the cash! I've got my Arcanine shirt money back in no time. Um, I suppose I should top up on some potions before I go and do the gym fight. Can I buy supers? No, you won't let me like supers yet. Get myself up to ten. That's normally... I got some supers, I got some fresh waters. Everything's healed, I haven't fought anything since I last. No, I haven't. Um, I should be good. I should be good, I think. I'm going to go alright for the gym challenge. I want that Aldino, it's cool, look at it. Oh, it's so grumpy. Oh, did I talk to any of the. I didn't talk to any of the people in the Poker Center. Wait, have you got anything to say? A Wooloo is going from Turfield Stadium and Milo leisurely catching up for it. Nothing out of the ordinary around here. Maybe it's time we come up with some sort of souvenir based on the geoglyph. Yeah, if you've got no souvenir store for it. Oh, you just mean you specifically. And the company's now to murder Mr. Rose. Okay. Well, no, that, was, that was a waste of my time. That was, a, that was a good waste of my time. Oh, I wonder if... Uh, let's look at, should look at the lead cards that I've picked up. My album. There's Milo. Can I put my signature on my card at some point? God, look at hot. One eight nine. Oh no. Okay, I thought he. I thought he'd added one number to mine, and I remembered mine's not one eight nine. It's one. Eight, it's eight eight eight. Eight screw. So what happens? So obviously him, him being number one, that makes sense. If I choose, if I choose, if I had chosen eight three one, would it have told me no? Sorry, that one's already taken. Or are these num these other numbers just randomised? Also, do I have to get all 800 cards? 
select and throw away. Okay, so I can't throw away the, the character, the story character ones. That makes sense. That's my sad one. Uh, I'll go back and make a proper one at some point once I've actually unlocked some decent frames and things. Take a look at this, Jack lad. The grass gym badge. I got it in one try. Oh god, you were quick. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wulu. What? Wait, hang on. What? Did I have to fight the dude? I've had plenty of practice at it after all. But I'm sure you can win this one too. After all, you are my rival. And away he goes. And my voice can rest again. You can challenge the gyms as many times as you want. I guess it's a test your unbreakable will. The lead cards gym leaders tell all sorts of stories. Oh, they do! I was like, no it doesn't. The trainer was born as a son of farmers. He has honed his strength, stamina and skill as a Pokemon trainer from a young age by working together with his Pokemon. Because of his gentle nature, he has trouble going all out on weaker opponents, which is why his gym is the first one for challenges to attempt during the gym challenge. I thought it was established that that's not how the gyms work, and that the gyms will, in in the U Pokemon universe, choose the number the, their Pokemon based on the number of badges you have. Like, I thought Pokemon Origins established that's how canonically stuff worked. Not just... I suppose the gym challenge is different because it's an event as opposed to, like, an all-season thing. So... Okay, no, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, he always wears his boots, as apparently they let him dig in his heels when he needs to. Look at that. What does Leon's card say? Leon is known far and wide taking part in the gym challenge at the tender age 10 years old, and even more so for claiming victory in the Champion Cup on his first attempt. Ever since that victory, he and his partner Charizard have remained unbeaten in both league and exhibition matches. He is called the Unbeatable Champion. And as a hero to many trainers, he has but one weakness, a dismal sense of direction. But don't worry, everyone who ends up, you make sure everyone has a champion time. And then hop. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's go and check out Milo slash Milo. Hey, Pokeball man, give me a Pokeball. Here, yeah, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. It's only a friendship with a wonderful Pokeball. I have a friend ball! A strange Pokeball that will make the wild Pokemon court with it more friendly towards you immediately. Great! That would be super useful against all the Pokemon that require friendship to evolve. That I don't know. Like, I, I don't know which Pokemon that admit that is. If you catch a Pokemon with a friend ball, it becomes friendly with you in no time. Just like how we became friends. Alright, I mean, I like, I like, I ju I'm just in it for the free stuff, mate. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? I would be happy if I could get your hat, though. Like, just, just, just for the shot. Just, yeah. Just for. I mean, I don't know why I want it. I just do. I have a fascination towards silly hats. I just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. Have you got a Galarian Meowth? Want to trade it for my Meowth? No. I see. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Bye, boy. Woman. Okay, so... They still don't sell... You think this is the grass gym? You don't sell a grass uniform? I'm spending my money on some... on types that aren't grass. Well, hang on. I heard that trainer is Hop's rival. Me? Why are you laughing at me? They're just standing there la openly laughing in my face. What? This is a horrible situation. You're a gym challenger, right? I remember your name if you can receive a grass badge. Okay, I'll go and do that then. Oh, hey. Grass type Pokemon are weak to fire moves. That's common sense. Yeah, no, fair enough. So apparently you can't face the gym without completing the gym mission first. Oh, okay, I wonder if that's what he was talking about. I wonder what I have to do. I'm pretty good at dancing. Oh, the trainer was talking about Leon himself. Me! They're talking about me! Hi! We're talking about me! Oh, it's difficult to spin. Alright. Uh, so I should probably put... I'm 
actually in pretty good position for fighting the gym because, yeah, ice flying. Ice is good against grass, isn't it? We didn't say that it was. We said it was fire, bug, and flying. But I'm pretty sure ice is strong against grass as well. I got, I got flying and I got fire, so I think I should be okay for this. Let's go. Let's crack on. Welcome, gym challenger. Allow me to have you through your registration. First things first, how about a quick refresher about the gym challenge? Your goal as a gym challenger is to complete each gym mission, defeat every gym leader, and gather eight gym badges. Gym, gym, got gym, gym. gym. The gym mission is a sort of test you need to go through before facing the gym leader. Each gym, can you say gym a few more times? Each gym has a different mission for the challenger. So would you like to attend the gym mission? Gym, let's do it. If you'd like to attend the gym mission, please change into your uniform. Done. Let's get the gym mission begin. Give it your best gym shot. Okay, I thought it'd be... Oh, okay, here we go. I was going to say I thought it would be a bit more fanfare, but I, I was just... just need to let it kick in. Jesus. I suppose it is a stadium, so... Just quite the... Right, okay. Yeah, no, let's crack on. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our own Wooly Wooloo. To that blockade we made from our bales of straw over there. By the way, you can call me Dan. It's not my name, but you can call me it. I serve as referee, and it's also my job to report the results of battles to League HQ. Now let the gym mission begin! Uh, okay. It seems reasonably simple. I mean, sheep herding would be so much easier if they could roll. Okay, now there's a yamper in the in the in the way. Who? Okay, didn't provide any kind of a uh, obstruction whatsoever. Good. Oh, now there's a yamper and some s fences. All right, but I think I have to fight this dude first. Welcome, Jim Challenger. So I have you send you packing. It's my job. Jim Trainer, Jim Trainer Samuel. He doesn't look like a normal gym trainer, but I mean, I'm thinking about the real life ones, I suppose. What's up? Uh, so, how many? Yeah, 20. Flame charge. Uh, this will last long enough to get me through the gym. Ooh. I think I'm leveled about right for this then. If. Ah, uh, you caught fire. I didn't know that was a thing that I could do, but... Ah! Uh, 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 I'll just tackle. Save the PP. So if he's thrown out level 16, so I could see... What's his chops using? Milo using, like, level B 20? I think I'm... Expected the gym challenge of the Pokemon in perfect sync with it. It's kind of creepy how that little yeah, don't do that. Don't do that little pose. You it's weird. I'll take your cash though. All right. So if I send these round to the side, this really isn't like challenging in any way. Oh, but there's two Yampers now, but I feel like I feel there's a gap there, so it should be okay. I'm gonna go fight this trainer though. Only your Pokemon to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. Um, I mean probably not against you, Mark, but you know generally, sure. What do you think? I look just like a Pikachu, right? You do, and it's adorable. It's much less creepy than the adults that wear. Uh, I mean, you, you, now that I've seen you up your face up close, actually, you're much less adorable. 
but it's still more adorable than those creeps and do wear Pokemon costumes and hang out in caves. Those friggin' perverts. 